competition and competitive ideas, which brings us to steam engines. Oops. Um, steam engines in 18th century Cornwall. Well, James Watt was from Scotland, so I didn't have a picture of Cornwall. This is the Cornish pumping engine. Cornwall was the Silicon Valley of the Industrial Revolution. It was where all the innovation in, in engines took place. Engines were used, steam engines were used primarily for pumping coal out of mines. Um, and that's basically the source of energy that drove the British Industrial Re Revolution. And Cornwall was where all the mines were. And they needed steam engines to pump this stuff. Wikipedia says that uh, James Watt improved steam engine was the key innovation that brought forth the Industrial Revolution. Um, he was the great inventor of the steam engine, and Wikipedia is always right. But the fact is that James Watt uh, did a lot of interesting things. This chart shows you the power of steam engines, the efficiency of steam engines. Um, the top line is the most efficient, and the bottom line is the average efficiency of a steam engine. Higher is better. Uh, what, as you can see, did increase the efficiency over the previous steam engine from Smeaton, but during the lifetime of Watt's patent, um, the efficiency of steam engines didn't increase. And this was interesting. Watt had a patent on his steam engine, and patents at that time lasted 14 years, but Watt lobbied with Parliament extensively to get his patent extended to 30 years, and insisted that uh, uh, anyone who built a steam engine had to give him money. Well, actually, he would take share, a share of their profits. And at the expiration of Watt's patent in 1800, nothing happened for 10 years. And then in 1811, uh, innovation in steam engines suddenly takes off. Once the appropriation of the information behind it ended, innovation took off. And innovation took off because of something called Lean's Reporter. In Cornwall, um, I believe it was James Lean, was one of the engineers. The miners called themselves engineers. The miners that built their own steam engines to pump stuff out of their mines, um, they would build their engines, and in Lean's Reporter, every month, they would publish the blueprints of the engine that they last built, along with how well it performed. And they would share these blueprints with each other every month, thereby sharing the source code of their steam engines, if you will. And other miners could read the source code, they could study their steam engine, they could understand it themselves, they could use the steam engine by building a same, a steam, a same a steam engine with the same copy of the blueprint, and they could modify the steam engine and improve. None of them patented their steam engines. A lot of new inventors at that time also didn't patent their steam engines, and uh, released specifications publicly. This was a bit closer to